Hi, my name is Dan Rose. I'm the training manager with Bishop Lifting Products, and today we have our first entry in our new series for YouTube, where we will be giving you short answers to basic rigging questions that we get during our rigging classes. If you like the video, please give us a like below. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Um, if you're interested in doing training with Bishop Lifting Products in the future, there's a link in the description below where you can click to look at our training options. If you're interested in purchasing products from Bishop Lifting Products, we also have a link below where you can talk to our sales department. Um, if, you, if you have any questions about the videos, please put those in the comments below. If you have any good ideas for future videos or any comments about things you'd like to see in future videos, please let us know as well in the comments below. Thanks for your time, and this is once again our first video. So for today's topic, we have a real basic question. Um, on most rigging sites, you're going to have two main types of shackles that you would have available. The first type would be your standard screw pin shackle. Pin comes in and out real easy. You just turn the pin on the side like that. The other option you'll see a lot of would be a bolt type shackle. Looks more like this. It has the cotter key, the nut, and the bolt all working together. You'll also hear these called four part shackles. Now, depending on what kind of job site you're working on, there are actually sites and um, industries where screw pin shackles just aren't really used anymore, usually because of some sort of issue in the past with using them. So sometimes these won't be available, but on most job sites, these will probably be the two main types of shackles that you will see. Now, as far as the screw pin shackle goes, you wanna try to use this style of shackle in any application where you're gonna be taking the pin in and out of the shackle regularly throughout the job, because this shackle makes it much easier to get the pin in and out, in and out, every time you wanna use it. With the bolt type shackle, you have the cotter key. The cotter key sort of adds a step and a lot of struggle to getting the shackle on and off regularly throughout a job. You also have to remember that if you want to use the bolt type shackle, you have to have the cotter key. So just throwing it out, out to make the job easier is not an option, okay? Now, when it comes to the bolt type shackle, that's what makes these good for permanent and semi-permanent applications. Because you have the cotter key and the nut, even if the pin gets loose and starts to spin during the course of a job, this pin still can't come out of the shackle. So in a permanent or semi-permanent application, especially where there'll be some kind of vibration or movement over time, this is always going to be a good option. Now, the other thing you want to think about, even if you're working in a situation where you're going to take the pin on and off regularly, if you have a screw pin style and there's some part of the application where something's going to be moving or sliding on the pin of the shackle, just remember that this pin can always unscrew during the job. So always make sure that you're not using a screw pin that shackle in an application where that pin could back off on you during the job. Okay? So those are your two main things. We're talking about permanent and semi-permanent for the bolt type shackle. We're talking about applications where it's gonna come on and off regularly with the screw pin. We're also worried about the screw pin turning during the job. Real simple, quick answer. Hopefully that helps. Um, like we said, if you have any further questions or comments, please put them below and we'll try to put them in a future video. Thank you. So once again, my name is Dan Rose. Um, this was our very first video in this series. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Um, if you get a chance in the comments below, give us some good information so we can help you with future videos, what kind of questions you'd like to see, uh, what else we could add to the videos to make them more worthwhile. Once again, we are trying to keep them very basic, so we just want to have quick answers. We don't want anything super long. If you um, if you're interested in doing training with us in the future, like we said, there is a link below for training. If you would like to purchase products from us, there is also a link below where you can talk to our sales department. Thank you so much for your time today. Hopefully we'll get through a bunch of these and we'll have lots of good videos for you guys to look at in the future. Just let us know what kinds of things you'd like to see. Thank you again.